Hello and welcome again to this edition of Fi TV. I'm your host Brad Swanson. We are coming to you from inside the Florida Capitol during the 2022 Florida Legislative Session. We are joined by none other than Senator Lori Berman, an old friend of the program. Welcome back. Thank you so much for having me, Brad. So uh, happy to be here in the Capitol. I know it's great that we're all here. We can hang out. We can do what we do, which is exactly. lovely. Which is lovely. All right. So, so give me one of the top bills that you're working on. So one of my top bills is called Grayson's Law. It got heard yesterday in its first committee, Children and Families. It passed the committee. Um, Congratulations. Thank you. And it's unfortunately an extraordinarily tragic story that we don't want to ever see happen again in the state of Florida. Um, a woman had, uh, she had custody of her child with the father of her child. She was never married to him. And he became very threatening, very menacing. And she went to the court and said, please don't make me bring my child for visitation. I'm really worried about my safety and his safety. And the court said he's the father of the child and he threatened you and not the child and you need to bring the child over he brought that she brought the child um and unfortunately he killed the child and he killed himself oh, that's so heartbreaking we don't want to ever see that happen again so we need to change our laws so that the judges clearly understand that if you threaten someone that you should not have parental rights when, when these threats are escalating and we also are changing the law to change the, the de definition of domestic violence. We're including what's called coercive control. And so domestic violence doesn't always have to be hitting somebody right. or, or it's also things 90 like- 90% of it is that power and control right. wheel and it's about that coercive control. Exactly, so it's things like controlling their paycheck, controlling who they socialize with, allowing them to get out, to go out of the house. Um, so- I could go on and I used to work for domestic violence shelter, so I'm loving that you're working on this very important night. Thank you, sure. thank you. Yeah, it is really important. So hopefully with those changes, we will never see a repeat of the situation that um, Allie Kessler and her son Grayson had to endure. Well, thanks for sharing with us about that bill. And I know you're, you're working on a bunch more, but personal point of privilege, that is so important to redefine those laws because they're really antiquated in most states. So thank you for that. Okay, what else thank are you, you working on? Um, so another bill that's really important to me, I've always been like a big proponent of renewable and alternative energy. So we're trying to update our schools. 90% of our schools are hurricane shelters. So we want them to be resilient. So one of the things we're trying to do is say, if you put solar power or work on batteries um, and add them to your schools, it won't count against certain um, e economic uh, limitations on improving those schools. So oh, wonderful. Yeah, so we're hopeful that that will happen so that all our, our schools can be hardened, get solar, get batteries, and then when they're used as hurricane shelters, they'll be uh, available for the whole public also. That's awesome. Well, your district is like so ground zero for so many of those renewable like innovations and the fact that you're working to bring that to all the schools in Florida, it makes so much sense. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a great program. We're really hopeful that this is the year that we do it. We've cha we've had versions of the bill, but this is the first time we've really focused on using it for a hurricane shelter. So we're hopeful that that will be the, the push that gets it over the, the finish line. Well, excellent, Senator. Great work as always. Uh, would you mind checking back in with us later in the session to tell us how you're doing on these two bills? Absolutely, right. we'd love to talk to you. Thank you, Senator. So so appreciate you making time for Fi TV. We appreciate you. Thanks. Always happy to talk. That's all the time we have for this episode of Fi TV. For more interviews like this one, make sure you hit us up on our social media feeds. And for now, thanks for tuning in.